We have a metal plate and a wood plate. I kept them at the room temperature for a while. When I touch them, I feel that the metal plate is colder than the wood. Let me ask you, if I put ice cubes on both plates, which ice will melt faster? Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Professor Peter. Let's do the experiments. Because the metal was colder when I touch it, the metal temperature must be lower than the wood. I'll show the temperatures in a moment. Now let me put the ice cubes and wait. You would expect that the ice on the wood plate will melt faster because the metal plate was colder when you touch it. However, we have the opposite result. Why? To understand this, you need to know two scientific principles, thermal equilibrium and heat conduction. In the experiment, we measured the temperatures. Let's check them out. The two temperatures were almost the same. This is because of thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium is a phenomenon that you have the same temperature in two objects that are in contact for enough time. If you keep an object at the room temperature, its temperature will be the same as the air in the room. Therefore, the wood, the metal, and the air had the same temperature. It is suspicious because the metal was colder when you touch it. It is because of conduction rate or conductivity. Since metals have many free electrons, they transfer thermal energy very well. We say metals have high thermal conductivity. When we touch metals, the thermal energy on your hand will transfer to the metal because the metal temperature is lower than your hand temperature. You may feel that the metal is colder than the wood, but it is sort of illusion. Now, we know that the temperatures of the wood plate and the metal plate were the same. Then would it be fair to say that the ice will melt at the same rate on the two objects? Here, the heat conductivity plays an important role one more time. This time, the thermal energy goes from the wood and the metal to the ice, because the ice is colder. Because the metal has a high conductivity than the wood, the ice on the metal will melt faster. We have a useful application of this science. You can defrost frozen meat using a microwave oven. However, the meat can be overheated. So we need a natural way to defrost it. How would you do it? Now we know that it is not a good idea to put the frozen meat on the wood cutting board because it's gonna take longer. Just put the frozen meat on the stainless steel pan. If you don't have metal objects, will glass or ceramics work? Well. You can find the answer yourself. Find objects that are cold when you touch it. If they are cold on your hand, that means they have a high heat conductivity. They will provide thermal energy very fast to the frozen meat. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.